Positive the density function fx is equal to k square root x when x is between zero and one. Evaluate k. Now, just as for a discrete probability function, the summation over all the x values is one, or continuous probability function or a density function, the integral from negative infinity to infinity of fx is equal to one for a continuous probability function. Function. Okay. So now the integral from negative infinity to infinity is in effect just the integral from zero to one because everywhere else it's zero. So in this case, it's zero to one k square root x is equal to one. And the square root x is x power half, so it integrates into x power three by two divided by three by two, zero to one is equal to one. And this can be written as two k by three. And then the one power three by two minus zero power three by two. And that's just one, so that's two k by three. And that's is equal to one. So from here, we get k is equal to three by two or 1.5. <clears throat> Let's see if the issue is with 1.5. That'd be very strange because normally it takes things like this. Well, <clears throat> complete the definition of big F. So big F, so uh, before zero, so since this probability starts at bigger than zero, so before zero, the big F is zero. And then we know that finally, so this ends at one. So it means for X is bigger than or equal to one, the overall cumulative probability we know is always one. And now the main thing is to find this middle part. So since this is less than zero, so this would be at greater than or equal to zero. And since this is greater than or equal to one, so this would be less than one. Okay. So here, as we did in the previous problem, for x between zero and one, fx, so since we're starting at zero, so you go zero to x. That's always the case wherever you're finding a cumulative function, you go from the starting point to x. So uh, this would be zero to x of fx dx. So that'd be zero to x. And when x is between zero and one, the fx is k square root x, and we found the k to be three halves. So three halves square root x. And this integrates to x to the three halves over three halves as before. Now this cancels out with this. And the limits are from zero to x. So basically it would just be x to the three halves minus zero to the three halves, which is just x to the three halves.
Okay. And then for probability between 0 0.6 and 0 0.9, You can do f of so probability x is between 0.6 and 0.9. So that's big F of 0.9 minus big F 0.6. So once you've calculated the big F, you can use it to find any probability, and that saves you from integration because otherwise, previously, before we were finding the big F, we would find such probability by integrating the density function from these limits. But this time, we can use the big F, and that saves us from integration. So big F at 0.9 would be 0.9 power 3 halves. And by 0.6, it would be 0.6 power 3 halves, because both 0.9 and 0.6 fall in the zero to one interval. Therefore, we'll be using this definition to find both of them. And let's see what this simplifies to. 0.9 power 1.5 minus 0.6 power 1.5. So get 0.3891. 